Okay, we'll go live in a minute, guys. Just just relax, relax, relax. i got to write a Father's Day card. I'm going to see the old man after the show. Uh, what can I say there? What can I say? What can I say to the old man? Uh, to Dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Father's Day. It's no apostrophe S. Yes. Um, have fun. Have. Have much joy. Have much joy. And. Have much joy and enjoy. The time left. To dad, happy Father's Day. Have much joy and enjoy the time left. Love always. Poor and family. There we go. Okay. Uh, what else do I say there? I'm going to send a... I got to, I got to do a... A quick photo too for me. I'm missing. I'm gonna send a photo today. I've just been, you know, really. What else can I say there? To Dad, Happy Father's Day. Have much joy and enjoy the time left. Love always. Okay. USB, USB with good videos. New Japanese porn genre. 20 minutes, however, till action. There we go. Because I'm going to give him a, I download a little bit of Pornhub, you know, well, not Pornhub. I actually got this from X Video. X Video, yeah, and X Hamster. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Bit of bootleg porn on the side. It never hurts anyone, does it? Okay, guys, get, let's get this thing live. Three, two, one, live! Hey, guys, Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury. We got some super chats in. Thank you so much there. Ed Venus G, two dollars. Rubber, 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 rubber. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what else is new, guys? What else is Sue Sue Studio? That's where we're coming from. Okay, let's get this baby. Let's get this. Uh, let's get the invites happen. Let's get some some guys on the the script here. Let's get them on. Get them on. Get them on. Um, I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be totally honest with you. What am I doing today? What am I doing? Uh, these guys, they changed the name of the groups. You know, they're trying to confuse me. They confuse me. That's what they do. They confuse me. Okay, done. Okay, now who else do I need to add to that? D -d 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 -d. Uh, so let's see here. Blue shirt. I think blue shirt gets that pasting but I'll just put it in as well and ABC oops um, ABC oops why is that doing that man because it's links to my mo me ball me ball phone mobile phone ABC what's it doing there come on very slow. Uh, Roger 
Alvarado, Roger Alvarado, please tell my wife, Maria Alvarado, from Lakewood, California, that I love her. Maria Alvarado, <clears throat> from Lakewood, California, Roger, Roger Alvarado, five dollars, he loves you, he loves you. What a cool display of love, what a cool man, what a cool man, I... I love a man who's not scared to show his feelings and emotion. And speaking of feelings and emotion, the bestest one is this blue shirt Buddha. Hello, blue shirt. How are oh, you? I'm good, Pontefario. I've been better. Been better. Been better. Little, been better. A little less hungover today. Yeah, feeling better. Feeling good. better. I'm. You know what? I. I kind of. I really, I hadn't, I had a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. I haven't mm. been traveling. I had a relation, couple of relationships went sour. Mm. You know, maybe it's my fault. What do you reckon? Maybe it's me. Mm. So I'm going to go and see maybe. the old man very soon. There I'm going to go. give him, I've got to give him a bottle of, I'm giving him, I'll tell you what I'm giving the old man. I'm giving him a bottle of Bailey's Irish cream. All right. And a little bit of uh, porn I downloaded. Bootleg porn. <laughs> what do you think of that? Booze and porn. The perfect gift. What do you think? Booze and porn. What's wrong with that? Is that a yeah, good there you gift go. or not? Sure. sure. I think that's a great gift. And I've got a Mercedes Benz because my old man loves his Mercedes Benz. I know he Mercedes does. Mercedes Benz card. He loves that car. He sleeps next to his Mercedes. <laughs> and uh, i got to tell you, man. i got to tell you. Hello, Showcase. Hey, Arch. How are you? Hey, bro. Uh, I've hey, been James. better. I've been better. I gotta be honest with you, there, man. I think it's best if I do not play with the alcohols as crazy as I have done in the past. Mm. You know, it was silly. Yeah, you were in rough shape yesterday. You know, we're not getting any any younger, Archie. Ah, uh, no, it's exactly right there. It's exactly, exactly right there, and um. You feeling better today? Uh, a lot better. A lot better. Good. Good. A lot better. I want to talk to you for a minute there. Um, ooh, what the hell was this? Um, I James, want to say... James, you want to share your your watch move with the Pontiff? Uh, yeah. So I've purchased another Submariner. Ooh, another Submariner. Yep, yeah, the one one four zero six zero. No date. One one. Oh, ceramic no date. Well, while all these clowns were buying the uh, going mad for the Hulk, the no date has been a bit of a sleeper. Yeah, I love the. I reckon the no date is absolutely perfect. It's Your super just, chat. Yep, super just chat. Here, here we go. Dangling Wang, <clears throat> five bucks. Papa, happy belated Papa Day in your honor. I made it with seven. Doze oh. yesterday and today. Mama said you looked worse yesterday than she did when you mated with you. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, but my logic was is uh, you don't see as many of the no dates as you do the date version. Correct. The date version came out in 2010. The no date version came out in 2012. So there's technically less of them. Uh, so I think the no date's a bit of a, a bit of a sleeper. Yeah, I I completely get it. Uh, I'm just a bit worried. That's all. Well, he had fallen out of love with the, with the with the date, the Submariner yep. date. He wasn't wearing it. Yep. And he missed his no date. So I think it's a good move. I had my no date on the wrist for three years, and then I sold it to get the to get the date version. Well, I went tick, to see Master then. One tick. Oh, okay. Guys, while Archie's gone, if you've got any questions, do ask and we'll answer them for free. Exactly. Because we do shit for free. <laughs> I think it's, so a, how, it's, it's a fine move, James. Um, you're, if, you're not connect, if you weren't connected with it, then it's, a, it's really it's a lateral move. Yeah, I think so. I agree. I got I to gotta tell you honestly, guys, I think this whole no date, date sub, I think the, just the... A no date watch just looks so clean. It does, yeah. and it's more, way more balanced. Way more balanced. And uh, I mean, some people have said, you know, that's that was the big attraction for the Sea Dweller. It wasn't the fact that it went deeper; it was the fact that it didn't have the Cyclops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You yeah. know what I mean? That's if, the big thing. I think for every no date submariner you see, for, for every no date ceramic submariner you see, you see 20 date versions. If you look yes. at it. Yeah, for yes. sure. Yes. You see way more date versions. So, yeah, I mean, I wore the no date for three years, uh, got rid of it, and then went moved on to the date version. And I've just never bonded with the date version in the slightest. So, I've, I've, you know, it's time to move on and get the next one. Wow. I um Why keep something that you don't love? It yeah, doesn't absolutely. make any sense. Absolutely. The problem is you sell it and then all of a sudden you realize you loved it. You, you know what I mean? It's it's a dichotomy. It's just this is the big problem is that there's mm. so many things out there that we love and then I yeah, but if it was a totally different watch, I, 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 I could see that happening more. But, I mean, it's literally going from a date to a no date. It's, it's still sort of kind of the same. I mean, it's still the same watch. It's just, just different aesthetics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it is the same watch, but you just don't have the Cyclops. And I think the problem I've got is because I've got the GMT Batman, when you put the, when you take the GMT Batman off and you put the GMT date on, they're right. too similar. They're too similar, and the date the dates of Ma the, the dates of Mariner is just a bit of a bit of a, a come down to the to the GMT. Right. Um, plus plus the fact that you you have other Rolexes, so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Again, a, a lateral move, and if it makes you happy, then that's what it's all about. Hopefully, hopefully it should arrive on Tuesday. So um, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, but like I said, you know, I, I wore one for three years, and I, I made it my one and done for three. Well, for, it was my one and done for six months. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. What about yourself? Anyone else making any watch moves? I got to be honest with you guys. It really is so. The thing I'm finding is Rolex is so expensive now mm -hmm. to get back into it is. this. It is. It is. It's so difficult, you know, man. I just want easy. I just so why don't you put in fun. for a uh, for an, a new a new OP forty one part? I actually, I had I had a deal come to me this morning. Dave rang me, right? Mm -hmm. My good yeah. friend. He said, "Hey Arch, do you want to sell your six zero zero six? And I said, "Well, no, I don't. I love you know the black dial because mm -hmm. he wants to buy it back." And I said, "Well, I don't know if I really want." Because he said, "Hey, do you want to sell it?" And I said, "Hang on a minute." He actually offered me a part exchange. Mm -hmm. He said, well, hang on a minute. I've got a beautiful 3186 Explorer 2 Polar. Mm -hmm. He said, are you interested in going that way? I said, hey, just back the truck up. Back <laughs> the truck up. Super chat. And uh, here we go. Super chat. Paul M. 5 euro 50. Uh, do you think the 116610 LN is still worth wearing or is it old fashioned? And no. 100% worth wearing. Is it wearing. better to flip? Oh, come on. Any submariner mm. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Any submariner is... Come on, man. Come on. The the whole point, it is timeless. It's completely timeless. The Just... whole point is, is to be timeless. Do you understand? This is the meaning of life. Do, do mm -hmm. you, you understand this? Don't yeah, you? We do. We do. So let's go back just for a second. Let's go back to this, this deal that Dave proposed to you. So you'd be f getting rid of the 6006, yeah. getting the, getting the uh, Explorer 2 and some cash. Explorer 2. Um, yes, that's correct. You could use the cash to pay down your debt, and then you're back in the you're back in the Rolex game. But I don't know if I want to sell. I mean, I said to him, "Hang on a minute." I sold my Explorer One, Explorer Two, to get a five one nine six, which is a lesser watch. Mm, super. I <laughs> don't know if I would actually. Um, so I'm, I'm just laughing at the super chat. No worries, man. Super chats are cool, man. Dangling Wang. Two dollars, Papa. When me younger, you say never sell steel Rolex. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. I, I I don't know. Look, I don't think it's going to work. I kind of said to him, "Oh, I don't really want it." I think he was a bit. I I just think. Look, I I, I love. I think the only paddock that is really unique there is the six thousand and six. What do you think? No, I think your world time is the 
is the most unique. Oh, okay. That's the beautiful. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the six thousand six is is different. I mean, it's more different than the other Cal Travers you have. But it, as far as unique and iconic, the, it's the world time by far. Oh, okay, got you. Fair point. Fair point. Um, it's something to think about. But yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, don't I know, know. you love you... the paddocks. I know you love them. I just find it hard to sell them because Super chat. Louis the fifteenth, five bucks. Should I let Paddock polish my Aquanaut when I send it in for service? Does polishing make the watch lose its shape and weight? Depends what condition it's in. Depends what sort of condition it's in. Look, you know, I kind of look. Would it be a bad thing to tell them to give it a gentle polish? Well, if you're going to get it polished, that's who you would use. The problem is, if you get it polished, they're the only people who can do it properly because they got the correct polishing dies. You know, mm -hmm. like they they can actually, they've got special equipment to like Rolex has dies for their models too. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm talking about? You yep, know? super chat. So. Uh, here we go. Paul M, two pounds twenty nine. Archie one two six six one zero oh, LN or one two six seven one zero BLR. Look, look, stop, stop. So we're talking about a sub. And a, and a GMT and a GMT. And a GMT. Yeah, yeah, totally different, yeah. man. Both very cool. Right, whichever one makes your heart sing, that's the one you go for. Look, I got to be honest with you. Too many people. It's like saying, do I go for a BMW 5 Series or a Mercedes E-Class? They're very good. Right. You're not, you're not making a, a bad decision either it way. It depends. What, I mean, when they ask this question, are they asking for what I personally would prefer? Are they saying for investment? See, this is the question. I think mm. they're really saying, what do I think money-wise? It's all about the money. It's always about you know the this? money. But going back to that other thing, I don't, I don't think it's wrong to say to Paddock, listen, give it a light polish. If yeah. if I if I you if I use it, Paul, if if you're gonna get anyone to polish it, you know they'd be the one to do it. You, you know who if if you're gonna trust your watch with anyone, you're gonna trust it with them, aren't you? And they will only do it when they're doing a service. So yeah. you've got one stab at it. I'd probably say, yep, yeah, do it. Look, what you should do is get it lightly polished and then put it away. Right. But life's for living. Super you know tax. what I mean? Here we go, Yankee Doodle, and we've got the dog trainer, my favorite doggy trainer. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hey, Mark. Right. Hey, Mark. Fuckers. 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 Yeah, thank you. Okay, Yankee Doodle, two dollars. Plastic water pumps. No, no, let's say it again. Come on now. Plastic water pump. There we go. Two dollars, Yankee Doodle. And watch and pray, two dollars showcase. Why not wait for the no date, forty-one mil? Hmm. No, Sim because it's the whole point. The the investment potential is in the. You're going oh. against the, For starters, he doesn't want to wait. He wants it now. He wants a Rolex fix, don't you? And do you realise how much the forty-one millimeter is going to be when it hits the grey market? That watch. Exactly. That, that watch is going to start. At, that watch is going to start where the old model leaves off so it's going to start 11,000 12,000 british pounds and go upwards so yes and not only that you know 41 millimeter for the submariner i'm not a fan i think the submariner is a 40 mil watch and it should always remain a 40 mil watch 41 millimeter watch with a 21 millimeter bracelet just isn't for me okay fair enough oh okay very very cool story there um I gotta be honest with you, man. It's it's it's. I think you know, forty mils, forty one mils. I think there's not much of a damn difference to you, really. Do you really think there's much difference here? It's like you've always said. There's a bee's dick in it. Yeah, I I can't see how it would be that much difference. You know. Are you not? Are you not a fan of the supercase though? How it just sits like a like a block chunk on the wrist. Look, I got to be totally honest with you there. I didn't like. I think the this when they when when they came, I think the supercase worked on the GMT, maybe not on the on the Sabi. Super. Yeah. But uh, here we go. Ding Lang Wang, two dollars. Papa, you need. Why are you talking to speaking pictures? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, man. Seriously, I really do think a lot of people get too caught up in this. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with Rolex, can you? What do you think? No. If, 
if you're gonna if you're gonna analyze a watch, right? If you're gonna analyze a watch, think about it like this: in the history of the Rolex Submariner, for an, an for a, an, an eight year period of its life of the Submariner's life, there was a no date supercase for the entire history of the watch. There will never be another supercase. The the, the no date Submariner supercase was an eight year watch, and that's it. And it you know, it's a piece of history now. Mm-hmm. It is. Um, it is. You're you're very right there. It's. Um... And I wanted to get it now before you know those watches haven't hyped yet. Those watches haven't gone up stupid prices. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can you, you can pick one of those up at you know fifteen hundred over retail. Right, you and can... you're you're following the you know the pontiff's teaching. You go against the grain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Never follow the never follow the um, follow the, the trend. Yeah, follow yeah. the herd, and you'll just. You'll just get spanked on price. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you there. I think a lot of people get too caught up in the herd. The herd. You know, why is it we want to impress people we don't even like? 25,000 US dollars for a Submariner Hulk. Can I mean, how how is there any explanation to that? That is just... That is ridiculous. I, yeah. I don't... I honestly, I, I honestly thought that if people had twenty five thousand dollars to spend on a on a watch, they'd be intelligent people. They've obviously got the money through intelligence. But yes, if anyone's listening to this and they've spent twenty five thousand dollars on a Hulk, they need to go get their head examined. I totally get you. Exactly. You're right. You're right. I mean, seriously, man, it's um, it's ridiculous. No, it makes no sense. It's, gonna, it's, it's the same as paying seventy grand for uh, a Nautilus, or yeah. or you know paying you know sixty grand for an Aquanaut. It, it it's 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 insanity. They're going to have such a shock though in six months to a year's time when the when the hype around the Hulk has dropped and the watch has dropped back down to its true value and they've all been torn a new one. Hmm. There's going to be some very upset punters once they realise that the watch has just dropped ten k. I think you're right. Super chat. I think you're right. Here we go. Here we go. Super chats. We love the super chats. Here we go. Watch and pray. Two dollars. First gen forty one mil at retail will be historic grab. Arch, if you can get one. I was gonna say, Arch, are, are you at, have you got any um are you on any wait list with any eddies? No. 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 Are you t- no, I'm you t- not. T- I, d- I don't play the A D game. No. The Pontiff always goes secondhand, secondhand, and he always goes against the grain, what's not in fashion, what's not hot. The absolute dog of the range, that's when he strikes. i got to be honest with you the guys. The unloved pieces. Yeah, i got to say, seriously, I don't like, I don't want to be cool or trendy. I've been so unfashionable for so long, I cannot possibly be cool, you know? But do you not think in there it lies your strength? You've been so uncool and unfashionable for so long, you've become cool and fashionable. Well, because yeah. time, time has proved him right. But, I mean, look, look, seriously, guys, I think the problem is, you know, if, you, if, I started, if I started doing that, I'd be a bit of a sellout. You know, I don't want to be manipulated into it, you know. Yeah. I mean, I love the new Rolex. I've got to be honest with you. The new Submariner, I think, is gorgeous, right? I would love one at retail. Right. Am I paying a premium? No. 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 Do I have connections? No. I don't even have the money to pay for the damn thing, even if I could get one at retail. I mean, seriously, I don't know about you, Blue Shirt or Showcase, but I don't even have that money. I'm pretty maxed out at the moment. Yep. Super chat. I, I, I don't really have Yankee Doodle $2. The clasp on my pre ceramic sub is failing. Yeah, the, how? You can get... What? I don't understand. I don't understand. I, look, they, they were a bit flimsy, but they're not that bad. Yank, and then we got Dangling Wang. Dangling Wang, $2. Papa is on the wait list to get into the <laughs> AD. <laughs> or like, the, or like those you. bastards at IWC and where was that, in Honkers? They wouldn't let you in. They wouldn't let me in. That's exactly right. In is the this what burning YouTube... sun, they wouldn't let you in. Is this what YouTube fame has done to you? Yep. 
Yep, that's exactly it. I got to be honest with you, I really do like the new releases, but your whole point in buying a Rolex is it's not about having the latest model. They're iconic. They're timeless. They're not a fashion watch. You, you understand? Yep. They're not fashion watches, are they? No. Unfortunately, they've just become too much of a status watch. That's yeah, the downside. That's that the is but, very true. But that's not that, that's true. not the, that's not the watch's fault. That's just the brand and the, the you know who it who the brand attracts. Mm -hmm. You're um, right. It has become that. You know. Um, it's very very sad that this has happened. But man, what can I say? Seriously, what what can you do? Tell me this. What do you do? What do you do? You tell me what you do. What are you supposed to do with this stuff? You know. Well, this is where I think. You know, brands like Amiga and Tudor are picking up the ground. Mm -hmm. You know, pe people that are tired of playing the Rolex game are, are, are bailing on Rolex and they're moving into Tudor and Amiga and other brands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which isn't, I mean, as far as moving into Tudor isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, you know, when it comes to Rolex because they don't care where they get their money, whether it comes from people buying Rolex or whether it's from people buying Tudor. Tell me well, this. Can I ask you this, guys? I want to ask you this. Do you feel disappointed you can't get anything that's new? Does that disappoint you? How do you feel about that? It disappoints me not to be able to see something in the AD. That's what's disappointing. Where, as a you know, go back a couple of years think, and everything mm -hmm. was in the everything was in the display cases. Now they're empty except for Ladies' Day, Justin Cellini's. I I balled up my AD relationship and it was my own fault. Um. But that's not to say I can't buy from the AD because you know I've got pe I've got How people that work. It up? Tell me, do explain. We like a well, good balls up story. I've bought I bought a few Rolexes um, and I was I was on I was on the wait list. I was getting the watch up. So you've got a super chat. Yep, super chat. Watch and pray. Five bucks. Bigger transition. Plastic to crystal. Pre ceramic to ceramic. Forty to forty one. Biggest. What's the? I think plastic to crystal was the biggest transition. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd agree. Personally, for sure. Tell me, tell me, so how did you balls it up? So I was on the wait list for numerous watches, and I was getting the watches. I got my Hulk, I got my Nerdit Submariner, and I got a Batman. And I purchased the Batman at retail. Uh, I owned the watch for six months. Barely wore it because the center links just put me off. Uh, yeah. So I, I sold it. Uh, Rolex found out, contacted the how AD. How did they find out? Because I was stupid enough when I put the listing to show the serial number of the watch. So they've obviously cross-referenced the serial number. They've gone back to the AD. And I went into the AD to put my name down on the Pepsi. And mm -hmm. I just got a shake of the head and said, sorry, you know, you've, you've lost that privilege. You can't, you, you're not going to get put on any more wait lists. Uh, you got a super chat. Wow. Larry Kipping's five pounds. Sold an unwanted, unworn, no-date sub for £7,000 six weeks ago. Wish I'd known you in the market showcase. Was I wrong to dump pre-new releases? Definitely. De mm. I think so. What are they going for now? No date. Uh, well, I got mine just for under eight. So. Okay. He, he's lost a thousand pounds. Yeah. Maybe fifteen hundred if it's unworn. But. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I, I, I absolutely, you know. Super chat. I, I balls it up for myself with the AD. Joe, money, two dollars. Supply should be restricted to keep bogans from buying. I got to tell you, I find it very hard that a lot of newbies coming into the game, right? They they're into watches, right? You know, mm -hmm. a lot of young guys. Let, let's pick an average guy. So I say he's uh, mid to late twenties. He says to his wife, you know, I've always wanted a Rolex. He's doing okay, right? He goes into the dealer. They got absolutely nothing to him to buy. Right. There's nothing. There's nothing. Datejust or two tones expensive. From a retail perspective, two tone is expensive. They've got nothing. So he goes, oh, that's not much fun. He, then he goes to Amiga or he goes to Tag and he can walk out with something immediately. Correct. For a lot well, less money. And that's the what's thing happening. It, it's sad. It the thing is, there's always ways around the Rolex game. I mean, like for myself, you know, they ban me from from buying from that particular AD. I can probably go to another AD and put my name down, whether or not whether or not they have some database at Rolex. I have no idea. But you know, I know you know I know plenty of people, and I, I, you know, they've all. I, I've got numerous people at numerous ADs 
put their name down on different watches on my behalf under their name and i've offered them all 500 pounds over retail just for buying yeah. the watch for me oh and so, they're okay with that yeah, they're absolutely fine. Well, they're earning 500 quid for going in the AD and getting a watch. You could always get your wife to do it as well, couldn't you? Yep. Well, she's at the, yeah, she's at the same you address. You don't want her involved. People. Not particularly. But you don't really want but, her involved in your buying and selling things. No, because, no, because she, God, if I ever die and she sells the watches for what I told her that they cost me. Yes, that's the collector's <laughs> dilemma, you know. i got to tell you, seriously. Um, you know... She, she still Tell thinks my what she still thinks a Rolex Submariner is three thousand pounds. <laughs> How many watches have you got now showcased? Give me a bit of a collection update. Uh, so I've got the blue shuttle correct me on that. So I've got the one one six six one zero LN, the no date Submariner. So I've got the date Submariner, no date Submariner, GMT Batman, GMT one six seven five zero Pepsi, um, Seamaster three hundred nineteen fifty seven reissue, uh, Speedmaster Professional. Uh, with a big box, I've got the Amiga Seamaster Professional. That's the two 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 zero. Tudor Black Bay fifty eight blue. Mm -hmm. What Can am I missing? Is this a nice collection? Seven, six in the box. Wow. No, there's a fair bit of money in there. Eight, eight watches. It, fair bit oh, of money in there. Uh, about fifty five thousand, between fifty and fifty five thousand. That's a lot of money. Pounds, we're talking, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Wow. How do you feel about that? Um. Well, as long as they're all heading north, I'm okay. Yeah, 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 I understand. I mean, this is the thing about... Um, your money is pretty safe there. Louis the Fifteenth, five bucks! All the... All the hard-to-find watches are in abundance in the grey market. Does Rolex allow that? Well, they can't control it. The grey market's nothing to do with Rolex. It's called free enterprise. You heard of free that, enterprise? That's the beauty of the. That's the beauty of what the Rolex of Mariner of seven days ago has now happened. So that so the the first generation of ceramic. Um, Submariners has now left Rolex. They've, they've finished production, they've left Rolex. Rolex can no longer control that watch. The, the watch is now controlled by the consumer, not by the not by the manufacturer. And I mean, the manufacturer has got no right to control it. I mean, they can... No. It, so, even, mm, whatever it, you it, do with something you've bought is your own business, isn't it? Absolutely. So so now, the, the, the previous Submariners, the previous... Um, Let's say the first generation of ceramic. They've all entered the history books now of, of Rolex. So the, it's now up to us as the consumers as to what they're going to be worth. And it, the the grey dealers now have control, not not the manufacturer. Yes. i got to tell you, Rolex themselves there is very angry at the grey market. They hate yep. the grey market. They it's do. a bit like Ferrari. You know, Ferrari's angry that... You know what they're angry about is that they're not making any money out of it. Mm. They don't give a shit for the enthusiast. Mm -hmm. All they care about is, hey, we're missing out on money. They just... I mean, it's pretty damn terrible, if you ask me. Um, I've, I've, I honestly think Rolex has got such a massive ego. It's not funny. I like their product, but... You know, I kind of feel very sad that um, a lot Super of jet. the new people coming in cannot get their hands on it. Elliot, five bucks. Thoughts on the two-tone Zenith Daytona? Seem like a good value proposition with everything else skyrocketing. Look, the only problem is with the two-tone Zeniths is that they've got a lot of... Depends on the condition of the bracelet and the watch. Hmm. Super chat. And Paul M, three pounds fifty. Would you buy the one two six six one zero LN if you had a one one six six one zero LN? Why not? At retail, Why yes. Not? At retail, Why yes. Not? Why not? Very safe buying. Very cool. I don't see any problems with that. Do you? I think these. I think that the current releases are all, always going to be seen as the um, the beginning of the forty one mil case. Because I don't think I don't think Rolex will ever re retreat back to forty mil. That isn't no. Rolex's style. I, it's the dawn of a new era. So, yep. And I, and I think I think the GMTs will follow. I think the GMTs will go into a forty-one mil case eventually as well. 
Ooh, you reckon? I don't know okay. about that. I, I, I'm not too sure about that because the GMTs now, especially, you know, the new ones on the Jubilees are much more of a dress watch than, the other thing uh, is too, than they were a tool the, watch. Um, they have got the uh, the 42 Explorer 2 if you want a bigger GMT watch, can't you? Correct. But if 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 you look at it from a machining point of view for Rolex, if, if Rolex mm. have got to machine these things, and, and this is my argument with the new Kermit that they've done, it's... It's been easy for the people said, why didn't they bring back the sunburst dial? Well, it, it's easy that they're, they're basically making a black submariner and just swapping out the bezel yeah. and charging yeah, more money. Hundred percent. So the machining and the manufacturing cost is is exactly the same. And I think they're going to. I think from a business point of view, Rolex, the 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 head wigs at Rolex are going to get the heads together and said, you know what? If we make the GMT the same case as the submariner, we can cut our machining costs in half. Oh no! I think the the other thing is now they're so. It's so the I, I think the the machining cost is irrelevant. When they first started, sure, but now they right. used to use old Submariner cases in Tudors, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was basically the same. Now they don't even mention Submariner with Tudor. You notice that? Mm -hmm. I got to be honest with you. I think really the sad thing is is that a lot of newbies coming in cannot get anything. I think the speculator. The problem is, like a lot of people, like, you know, your collection showcase. Mm. I mean, that's bloody amazing. 20 years ago, when you were a Rolex fan, you had one or two Rolexes. Now, you've got eight to ten really expensive watches. And even Blue Shirt. Blue Shirt's got three. I don't know about you, Blue Shirt, but that's mm. bloody expensive, don't you think? For, for a normal man in America, is that's a yeah. lot of money. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of money. It sure and, is. And I mean, I know your money's safe, right? Mm-hmm. But that's pretty hard, you know? Like, we've always got ups and downs. We can lose our job. Things go to shit. There's always constant money grab. You know, you're always short, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. You see, I don't have anything in the bank, but I've got watches. It's like I keep telling you, I'm just a poor man. I just, I just, I just put my stuff. family. Exactly. <laughs> But interestingly, Weekday Hustle just said something interesting. In yeah, the, in I saw the, that. I saw that that the that the Pepsi and the uh, Batgirl and the Batgirl are already at forty point nine. I didn't ah, know that. Ah, the Pepsi. Yes. Well, there you go. So there you go. Good one, Weekday. Yeah. Well, how, how do you measure these bloody things? They're just so difficult. Um, the other thing is too. I don't know if you know this, but I think Rolex themselves they used to have completely interchangeable bracelets. Mm -hmm. oh, Not yeah. anymore. Right now, what they've done is because I had a friend who had a Batman who had an Explorer One, thirty-nine mil, and he wanted to put the bracelet because he didn't like this polished center links. Mm -hmm. You know, an Explorer One bracelet doesn't fit a Pepsi. Yep. You got super a chats. It doesn't fit. Here we Neither go. Yan Marina. Yankee Doodle, two dollars. Is there future value to the Omega Broad Arrow? That's not an really. excellent watch. Really. Is it gonna? Watch. Is it gonna increase in value? Probably no. not. Yeah. Larry Kipping, five bucks. Do you guys think that desirable watches ever go out of ads back doors straight onto the grey market for more? Hard to tell. There's a certain, lot of speculation. Certain countries. Look, what I do know is that I've been in Singapore and Hong Kong, where I've seen mainland Chinese buyers. Mm -hmm. What they've done is they bought every steel watch so that, that so that doesn't mean that they just get pepsis or so that they 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 not paying a premium but they're buying a lot of the doggy ones right okay so and they'll order 30 just 30 in premium. volume alone so i mean so, I, mean, so, I mean look that that's always going to win out you know sure if you've got a business you want to sell the harder to move stock don't you mm, yeah Something interesting in the comments again. Eric Bells just said, "Old sub is forty point two two millimeters. New sub is forty point five three. Yeah, watch and pray is saying that the Waco measured the new sub at forty point five mil. Wow. And then you know they always they always round it up. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mister C, five dollars. Archie, hey Archie, did the IWC AD not let you in the store because they knew who you were, or they didn't? Oh, I think they're just being shits because they're just pretentious. This was in Hong Kong. If you're not wearing a suit, it's just Hong Kong. It's bloody hot, okay? They just kind of give you the 
the cold shoulder. They eventually let me in. I would think there'd be very few dealers, certainly Rolex dealers, and now Patek, who wouldn't probably know who you were. There'd be at least somebody in that AD who'll know who you are. Hard to say. Hard. I always think I'm anonymous. You know, I thought I look like any other overweight, fat Westerner, don't I? I don't know. I think you've got your own style. Mm. I gotta be honest with you. I do love. I look for all the jokes aside. I actually do love a lot of the watches I have there. Would I go back to Rolex? I'd love a Rolex. Dave said to me today, "Hey, hey, hey, why don't you sell?" And I said, "Hang on, stop." If I'm going to sell one of the paddocks, I'm not going to keep two five one two sevens, am right, I? Right, right, yeah. You th- that, that's one the one thing. First. That's the one thing you have to do. If you want to keep all the other ones, you, there's no point in keeping two of the same watch. Get exactly. you have to get rid of one of those. And I bought that as a speculation. That didn't really work out. There you go. It didn't work out. Okay. I bought it as a specy, and it. Look, I had a few interested sales for it, but the problem is, it's delivery. Do you ship it? What do you do? It's so risky. Right, right. You know? Maybe and, and when, let's wait. Give it a couple of months. Let's yeah, see let's if things open up thing. again. If you can, if you're able to hop on a jet plane and fly to honkers or singers or bangers, then uh, yeah, you know, I, then maybe you'll be I'm able to get of, rid of it. That's what I'm kind of thinking. But you know, at the moment. I, I don't I don't really um, you know what I'd really love I really I really love the Milgauss blue that's a beautiful piece Explorer mm-hmm. one is a great piece as well mm-hmm. there's a lot of good Rolexes I'd love a ceramic I'd love something ceramic but you know there, there's such a premium to pay that's the problem guys I, I kind of what, can what's I... your collecting philosophy sorry showcase uh, so, well, I was talking about this earlier, actually. The, the basic simple thing for me with the leave the Speedmaster out of it, anything that I buy has to be a watch that I can wear for 24 hours straight. It has to be something that I can sleep in, uh, go to work in, go out for a meal in. I've got to be at a shower in it. I've got to be at a swim in it. It's got to be something that it's, it's got to be a stainless steel tool watch. Speedmaster aside, that's the only one that I wouldn't mm. do all those things in. Uh, but I've got a question for, question for you, Arch. Yeah, um, yeah. So people at the moment are all hyped up with all the Rolex hype that's going on. Yes. What yes. What's your predictions for the next discontinuation? Because obviously people are concentrating so hard about what's been discontinued and what's come out. No, uh, There isn't many people that are now thinking, let's look for the next hype. What should, what should I be jumping on? You see, because people are out there now... Um, buying the Hulk for the same price as a Panda Daytona. It's it's ridiculous. Look, i got to be honest with you. I think this new market we're in is very uncharted territory. Who would think new product is selling for massive premium? I honestly don't see anything getting better. Okay, I don't think it's going to get better. If you have a look at other watch companies who had this, this, this frenzy, right? Mm-hmm. Collector frenzy. Mm-hmm. I think you look at Pam, right? Right. And they stuffed it up one too many limited edition. Mm. And you look at... Um, I think really with Rolex themselves there, I think a lot of this sort of... There is so many variations. People say, oh, <clears throat> like one thing you find with Daytona is there's the APH Daytona, there's this Daytona, this... There's so many variations, right? Mm-hmm. Does it really matter? Does it really, really, really matter? So many variations. I got to be honest with you. There's always, you know, theory that the first series, Gen 1, I mean, look, Mm -hmm. if you can grab one, sure. I personally, if I was to invest money into watches now, right, say you wanted to take a bit of a punt, right, on some Rolex. Right. I reckon you would seriously be best off. I reckon some sleepers, this is what I reckon the value is. I reckon the deep sea black. Best off, I reckon. Okay, deep sea black. I think that's a bit, because that's that's a bit of a bargain. Not the James Cameron, the standard. I would also say the, the 
Explorer 2. Mm-hmm. Any Explorer 2 42 mil is a bit of a sleeper. They're, they're, they're kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I would Super say... Chat. <laughs> Dang Ling Wang. Dan Ling Wang, $2. Papa, you like Nostradamus, but crappy version. There we go. So... So actually, if if you if you were given some money, if you were if yeah. someone said to you, right, there you go, there's, I mean, I don't know what it is in Aussie, but if tw- I don't know, twenty thousand British pounds or twenty five US, yeah. whatever it is, yeah, That's you've got to invest. Yeah, go you've on. got to in- you've got to invest some money today. For, for the next discontinuation that's going to hype, what do you think? What do you think is going to discontinue when Rolex makes the next chops? Ah. Uh, discontinuation i tell you what there i would be looking at some the submarina line has been updated right correct so that's probably you got to look at it's all cycles product cycles i would seriously be saying um it's what you can get your hands on as well um look if i was going to put money into some rolexes today 20 okay twenty five thousand us dollars i'd be going Deep Sea, Explorer 2, 42 mil. Mm-hmm. And I would have to go for a no no date sports steel, something like an. I reckon the Air King. Air King would be great. That would be a great okay. three piece. That's kind of. That's do, mm. do you think they'll pull the Explorer 2 back from 42 mil down to 41? Come in line the with the tomatoes. I think they want different sizes for different markets. Okay. They don't Rolex just doesn't go 40. backwards. Yeah, I think they're trying to be very clever because they have got 44 mil. You look at it. You've got Super 39 tech. on the Explorer 2. Right, so Explorer 1. Okay, here we go. Yankee Doodle, $2. A girl just ghosted me after our first date. Ooh, FMD. I hate that ghosting. You know what? The thing I hate most is is that you're in a relationship and you have an <laughs> argument and then she just never wants to talk to you, refuses to have any contact with you. Instead of saying, look, this is the problem. I'm not happy with this. This is the situation. They just, just, they just try and, you know, uh, ghosting like that, yeah, that's, that's just very immature behavior, really. I take it, I mean... Is ghosting where someone just avoids you? No, they completely block you. They block you on all the apps, and it's okay. ghosting because they're just gone. They're out of mm. you. They don't want anything to do with you. You were so insignificant. You're not even worth. Uh, uh, please don't contact me again. The Explorer right. Two is not getting discontinued. It's the well, 50th it anniversary you, next year. You, you've got a Explorer One at 39 mils, right? Yep. At 40 mils, you've got you've got so, uh, quite a number of steel sports. 41, you've now got the sub. 42 mils, you've got the Explorer 2. Correct. 43, the, you have the Sea Dweller. The sea dweller. Then we got the 44 is the James Cameron. Yep. And and not to mention the Yachtmaster 2, right? Right at 42. So you missed there's the super a chat. lot of variety there. I think. Their tr- SP two dollars best first Rolex for ten thousand Australian. Man, that's getting hard. That's seven thousand US. I tell you what. Explorer one. I think that could be the that's so or a Milgauss. Mm-hmm. Maybe an Air King. Maybe an Air King. Mm-hmm. A little bit cheaper than that. You can get the Air. Ten or a new OP if you can get it. Oh, I don't know if I'd put... See, this is the problem. Would you really want an OP when for a little bit more you could get a sports? You see, the... Uh, the now, you've always, you've always said... how old you are. You've always said, Arch, that the dog of the range is the one to invest in. Now, would you not say that the Air King's been a bit of a bit of the dog of the range and it's the one to... It's, is it a bit of a sleeper, do you think? I think the Air King is an amazing model. I miss it completely. Hmm. It's um, it's a beautiful watch, you know. Like it's so it cool. I I absolutely love it. I I Milgauss case with Explorer dial. It's funky as they mm-hmm. come. Yep. Absolutely. And I'd prefer to have an Air King over an Oyster Perpetual any day of the week. Mm-hmm. Sorry. But you'd have a Milgauss over an Air King. 
Probably. And where does the Explorer 1 sit into that? Explorer 1 over a Milgauss, or...? Look, the Explorer 1, i got to be honest with you, i got a very soft spot for the Explorer 1. I think it's the most perfect wristwatch of all time. Is it a dress watch? Is it a sports watch? It's so... That is kind of like a Submariner without the bezel, isn't it? Mm. It's yep. a high-grade movement. That's what it is, in a waterproof case. That's exactly what I've just said on my, on my stream before, is that mm. with, when you get a no-date Submariner, you're basically mm. getting an Explorer, but with a diver's... Well, it's the same movement. Yeah. You know, this the funny thing is I had the, the, the Explorer when I had my no I had a couple of fourteen oh six O's. It reminded mm -hmm. me of the ten sixteen because it had the same basic movement, no date mm -hmm. movement. It was basically an Explorer one with a bezel that rotates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I well, gotta tell you that the bezel is so handy to time ship. I don't know how it you is. guys find it. It it is, but you know, going back to best first Rolex, I, I can only go by my own experience. My first Rolex was an Explorer one. The problem is they're few and far between on the ground. That's you gotta you gotta look smart. You gotta look smart. Guys, we're gonna wrap this baby up. We had a great chat here. We'll be back tomorrow. I wanna thank you for coming. The problem is ten thousand dollars Aussie now, seven thousand three hundred US. Maybe you need more. Can you believe that? That's almost like five thousand was five years ago. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but the do you problem. Not, but do you not think these prices, like they've done, like they've done here with Rolex, is why three years ago? Off the, yeah, three years ago, you could walk into Amiga and you could purchase an Amiga Seamaster professional for two thousand seven hundred pounds over here in the uk now yeah. that same the same watch but the updated version is four thousand four hundred and it's because it's because rolex have done what they've done and they've pushed so much traffic to amiga i look it doesn't yes i i tend to agree with you there but i think amiga has softened a lot it doesn't have the same collectability amiga was getting really really cool and mm. they dropped the ball. Too many limited editions. Okay, yep. Mr. C, one dollar. I'm going to leave it there today. See you tomorrow. Catch you later, guys.